Welcome on board Virgin Voyager's Scarlet Lady. This cruise ship was the first ship ever designed and launched by Virgin Voyagers and therefore was the ship that introduced the brand to the cruise industry. Since launching, one thing has been made pretty clear and that is that Virgin like to think they do things pretty differently to the rest of the market. While some things are good, some could leave a bitter taste in your mouth. Therefore, I think it's really important to understand what you're getting yourself into before you book. Behind the glitz and glamour of these unquestionably beautiful ships, you'll find some of the smallest cabin varieties available on any cruise ship today. These rooms, one of which I'm going to show you today, are designed for just one passenger and are what Virgin call solo insider cabins and they measure about 100 square foot or just 9 square meters on average. In this video I am going to give you a full tour of my solo insider cabin and I'd love to know in the comments if you would choose to stay in this room type. Finally before we get started on touring the room itself if you do enjoy this video it would be great if you would consider supporting my channel by clicking subscribe and also giving this video your like. Anyway, let's get on board and I'll see you in the cabin. Hi guys, welcome to cabin 12244M on Virgin Voyager's Scarlet Lady. Now, that's quite a long title for a room, so let's just cover that before I walk you around here. Now, 12244 means that you're cabin 244 up on deck 12 of the ship, and the M means that you're in the middle. So... All of the inside cabins here are obviously in the middle of the ship. So if you're in an inside cabin, your number will always end with an M. Now anyway, let's talk about the room because this is one of the smallest inside cabins that I've ever seen on a cruise ship. But to be honest, I think it's big enough for what you need. It's really clever what they've done with the space. So let me give you a walk round and show you what we're looking at. Now first up you've got the bed. Now this isn't a single bed but it's not a full size double by the looks of it. It's sort of in between and while it would be good to have a bigger bed I do always respect when you get more than a single because some cruise lines out there still treat solo travellers as if they are sleeping in single beds when they go home at night so yeah big kudos on that one. Now you've got the TV directly opposite your bed which is good because from a location point of view, there's nowhere else in this room to sit. So if you are watching the TV, you'll be in bed. So that, that just works pretty well. Now, coming back, first up, you've got this backlit mirror here. And then you've got some artwork over on the left-hand side. Followed by your desk, which is just down below. Now, in terms of what's on your desk, you've got this lamp, which you can operate by just pushing the light. And it sort of fades nicely. Underneath that, you've got your phone followed by your kind of water station, so you can just ask your cabin share for some more water. And then you've got your red branded ice bucket with your red tongs, which I think is actually a really nice touch. Now moving over, you get your paperwork that joins you on the ship. So you've got your red book, which is essentially a guide for how to cruise with Virgin. You've got some bits on security, your daily schedule for embarkation day, and then finally, that purple one over there, that's a ship map, so you can use that to help you find your way around if you get a little bit lost. Now you've then got a tablet here, but this hasn't come on yet. Oh, it's now come on. So head over to my vlogs and I'll show you what this tablet is once I figure it out, rather than do it right now live on camera. Now directly opposite, you've then got a full length mirror. So if you want to check yourself out before you leave for the night, you can do that there. And that's just directly beside your air conditioning unit, which I am going to turn all the way down. Now, underneath the desk, you've got a fridge, which is a welcome addition, so you can pop whatever you want to in there. A couple of shelves beside that, and then a uh, stool underneath to sit on. Now, let me spin round. This is when we look at storage on here. So, first up, you've got an open cupboard with a hanging rail, which I've just popped my suitcase in there at the moment, but that would go all the way down to the ground. One criticism that I would have is that there's nowhere else for that suitcase to go. So thankfully, Virgin isn't a formal cruise ship, so I wouldn't have any long things that I would need to hang up in there. Now, above, you've got a little shelf, and that closes with this curtain, which I've never been a big fan of this, because you can see there, you can see right through it. So I always think, either put a door on or don't put a door on, but I don't really see the benefit of the curtain. Now, anyway, coming in here, 
you've then got some shelves which pull out nicely down at the bottom and then your safe which is obviously free to use so you don't need to leave deposits or anything for that and you've got your life jacket so obviously this cabin is just designed for one passenger or one sailor as virgin call it so there's only one life jacket required in here so anyway hopefully you think so far pretty nice size of room like i i quite like it now let me take you into the bathroom so you've got your light switch here so just leave that on and we'll go in now i'm about to awkwardly acknowledge myself in the mirror because i can't not do it every time but as you can see here so you've got two lights one on either side of the mirror you then come down and you've got a big sink for a cruise ship actually anyone that hasn't cruised before you need to realize that some sinks on cruise ship cabins are tiny but that's actually pretty decent you've then got makeup wipes so if you need them or makeup towels rather so yeah not a huge benefit to me but if i was wearing makeup which i don't then yeah um, they might come in useful you've then got some open storage in this black section here followed by an open shelf now my only criticism of my inside cabin on Valiant Lady actually remains true on here because I would quite like that open area to have a door on it just to get rid of toiletries, but it's still open. Now, you've then got the toilets. We don't have much to talk about there. And then your towels up above. So, yeah, let's have a look inside the shower. So, if we open up here, you'll see in here, and the audio has probably gone very echoey now that we're in here, but you've got a rainfall shower at the top. You then come down, you've got a detachable shower head here. And then you've got your soap products here. So you've got body wash on the left, hair conditioner in the middle, and then hair wash on the right hand side. Now, only other thing to mention in here is that you've got your washing line. So over on this side, if I enter the shower now, you can pull this out and attach it just over there. And that is where you could dry your clothes if they need to. Now, anyway, let's head back out of here into the comfort of the room. And yeah, that's it. That is a tour of 12244 up on deck 12 of Scarlet Lady. But look, hopefully you've enjoyed having a little look around. If you have, then there's lots more that I'm going to be showing you from this ship over on my vlogs, which should be going live. And well, they'll either already be live or they'll be going live soon after you see this. So make sure that you're subscribed and follow along and check them out when they come. But look, for now, from Miami Cruiseport, on board Scarlet Lady, I'm away for a drink, so over and out.